We're here at Salt Creek County Park to do a couple of dives in the Strait of Juan de Fuca. It looks like the kelp forest that we're going to be diving in is a little thicker than I've seen it, so we're going to have to be careful that we don't get tangled up. But we brought our dive knives along with us, so if we have to, we can cut our way free. The challenge today is going to be the entry, because the tide is coming in, and so we've got some pretty big surf out here. This is where we're going to go in, so we're going to have to time the wave just right so that we can don our gear and get out into the kelp forest without getting bounced around too much. We counted the waves so we could tell the cycle time and roughly the number of waves in each set. Then during a lull period, donned our mask and fins and swam for the kelp forest. It turned out to be easier than I thought it would because we were helped along by the outflow from the previous wave set. Once we descended, we immediately began to see the beautiful flora and fauna that we associate with Salt Creek, like this orange peel nudibranch and brightly colored sea anemone. But I found that taking video was extremely difficult because the heavy surf was causing a surge that was oscillating us back and forth about six to eight feet. I couldn't anchor myself by grasping the rocks because there were sea urchins pretty much everywhere. Their sharp spines would have easily penetrated my gloves. I did my best to get a shot of this cushion star, but the best thing we saw all day was a very big Puget Sound king crab. It's the only one I've seen. They are very brightly colored with blue, red, yellow, and orange highlights, and I think this one must have been a foot across its back. It was so big that I couldn't get the whole thing in frame, so I panned around it as I could while being jostled by the surge. We came across these giant Pacific chitons. Chitons are usually only about two or three inches long, but these can get as big as 13. We spent the rest of the dive exploring until it was time to make our way back to shore. Our return to shore proved to be much more difficult than our entry. Even though we tried to time the wave sets, we couldn't swim to shore between them because the same outflow that helped us get out to the kelp forest on our entry was keeping us from making progress toward the shore on our return. We were hit with an especially big wave set as we approached the shore. I was tumbled by a monstrous wave and laid out flat on a rock. My first thought was that I was glad to be on the rock because the tumbling had flooded my snorkel and being on the rock meant that I was out of the water and breathing wasn't an issue. When the wave receded, I was able to step off the rock pop off my fins and just walk up on the shore. Eric's exit was equally adventurous. It was another challenging northwest diving experience. 